My name is Jack Dash, and I am a horticulturist at the Arizona Sonora Desert Museum. This is an organ pipe cactus. Organ pipes occur in southwestern Arizona and Organ Pipe National Monument and on the Tahuna Autumn Reservation. And they become a little bit more common as you go into coastal Sonora. They are in the cactus family, so they're kind of a distant relative of things like saguaro. But they're a fantastic landscaping plant because they're going to grow significantly faster than a saguaro will. So within just a few years, you can have a pretty nice looking specimen. Organ pipe cactus or Stenocerus thurberi is a really great garden plant for a number of reasons. One, it's incredibly drought tolerant and incredibly heat tolerant. So it will thrive in really tough locations where other plants might not be able to make it. Additionally, when it blooms, the flowers are really beautiful. They're evening blooming like a lot of cactus flowers. And in fact, the primary pollinators are bats. Additionally, the primary seed dispersers are bats. So you'll get bats, but also birds and other wildlife that will visit the fruit and spread the seeds around. And one of my favorite aspects of the organ pipe, it is considered to have one of the best tasting fruits of any of our native cacti. The organ pipe fruits have been harvested for, you know, as long as oral history goes back by indigenous people like the Yotam or Seri in Sonora. That's nice because they're not quite as high up on the plant as they would be on a saguaro. And again, they're fantastic. You just have to clean the spines off and then you're eating that interior sort of pith and seeds and it's really tasty. Organ pipe cacti can be a touch cold sensitive. It's their limiting factor and why they don't occur further north. However, it's really a great thing for uh, urban areas because we are going to tend to have sort of a heat island effect. There's going to be lots of reflected heat. If you are in a colder area of town, say you're near a wash where there might be cold air drainage, then plant the organ pipe near a source of reflected heat like pavers, uh, a sidewalk, a wall, any of those things will help to mitigate any potential damage that might come from frost. Oftentimes if they do get some frost damage, you'll get some dieback on the tips, at which point they'll rebranch and just continue growing. So because cacti are slow growing, people often make the mistake of planting them too close together or too close to a walkway. This is ultimately, you know, easily going to get six to eight feet wide and could get even a little bit wider. So you do want to ensure that you leave ample space for the plant to grow to its full size. The last thing you want to do is invest, you know, a decade into growing out a beautiful specimen cacti and then have to start cutting off arms. And that really goes for any landscaping plant. Make sure that you are aware of what the mature size will be so that you can plant it in an appropriate space and allow it to achieve optimal growth. Actually, there's a house on Broadway that has a cutout in the roof because it has a saguaro growing through it. I highly recommend that people start with species that are native to this area. You will be amazed by the biodiversity. In fact, the Sonoran Desert is considered generally the wettest desert on the planet and we have an incredible diversity of plant, animal, insect, and even fungal and bacterial species here in the Sonoran Desert. So you have a massive selection of plants to choose from. Great way to think about it is that there are nearly 4,000 plants native to Arizona. And you know, around half of those are found just in Pima County alone. So you are absolutely not limited in your plant selection.